so you can see in this video a complete guide of growing your own cucumbers i'm gonna sow some gherkin cucumbers the little ones that have amazing flavor that taste much better than the normal english long cucumbers so here you see behind me i've got already some that are growing they already even have little cucumbers and flowers on them but let's have a complete guide from start to finish on how to grow your own cucumbers so let's get started i have here a um, tray like a 40 cell tray and i'm going to fill this with the compost it has drainage and I'm gonna fill this with compost, then I'm gonna lay the seeds out. Then give it a bash. This will give the chance to the tray for the compost to just settle in. Doesn't have to be too hard, but when you'll have the seeds, when you'll get the plant out of this and you'll push this up to get the plant out the the compost will come together will stay together and will be easier for you to replant them these little plants doesn't have to be too full something like this so you'll have to lay the space they should be up about the same the same amount of compost in each one if you don't have a tray like this, don't worry. You can plant in any plastic cups or in any cup, doesn't matter. Or to be eco-friendly, you can even plant in egg boxes. That works very well with the seeds and the plants. As long as uh, it's easy to get it out, when it's time for replanting, for going in the ground or going in the pots or in the grow bags, wherever you will be growing this. So that's my tray ready. I have here some seeds. I bought them from Mall Seeds. We find it this nice variety. It's the little garky cucumbers. And I'm going to lay the seeds in themselves. Uh, you can put the seed right way up or wrong way up but I tend just to lay it flat. So that way, I'm gonna avoid putting in the wrong way, with head up or with head down. I missed some. I'm just using simple putting up compost, nothing fancy. It's only a simple type of compost, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna sprinkle some compost on top of this and cover these seeds up. I can either use a sieve, like a little special sieve for uh, gardening, for sowing seeds, it has two type of meshes, or you can even use a mushroom box. If you don't have a seed, doesn't matter, use just a mushroom box. It works exactly the same. So I'm gonna use the box today, just to show you that you can use anything. you cover these seeds up I'm gonna give them a water now so it's very important to water your seeds and your little plants when they start when they germinated and started growing to water them with warm water not warm as hot but warm as room temperature that's very important because the cucumbers love to have warm feet as we call them so they will love to have like a good temperature in the room at about seed needs to germinate at about 25 to 30 degrees and 
the water you're watering with to be at about 20 degrees around that. So after you gave them a water, you label them. If you're sowing a few more variety, varieties like in my case, I'll sow more than one variety. So I'll put a label in the in the tray here. You can even write the date when you sow in them. I sow the seeds, so I know just for my information. When your cucumbers are about half a meter to one meter high, there where you have to start to do some work with them. So the first thing we start with will be side shooting. All you'll have, of course, by this stage, you would have had to support them, just tying a string around them, around the stem, and then tied up somewhere where you want to keep them or just put a, a stick to support them. We had these sticks to start off with, but now they passed this stage. You can see the stick is left behind and they've got a string to carry on and go up from here. So the side shootings need to be taken action now or even a bit earlier. If you wanna give your plants the power to produce more, to have more cucumbers, then you need to sh 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 uh, side shoot them. So, let me show you where you find the shoots. It's just this one. You see, here is the cucumbers where it's coming, but here it's a side shoot. And you take this side shoot off because this will just suck them the power off from the plant. So that's the side shooting. And if you find it on uh, other places, like you take it off from everywhere. For example, I've got here one as well, which is just that I took it off as well. So this is side shooting after you string and support your cucumber plants. As your cucumber grow and they get to, like I said, half a meter to maximum one meter, they will need like necking. We call this necking where you add compost to the bottom of their roots because the cucumber has um, the advantage of creating roots all over the stem where it's in contact with the compost. So if you add a bit of compost, to this area, like making them up. Sorry, I spread a little bit of my flowers. So if you bring some moist compost just around that, they will be, they will make uh, roots from here as well, where it's in the contact with the compost and the plant will be stronger, will produce better and give you more cucumbers again. Another tip is companion planting. So because the uh, cucumber plants needs a feed mix high in calcium and nitrogen then it's good to plant them in a place where you had your beans your peas last year because that way whatever the remains from the peas and peas and beans left and then decay they will release nitrogen this way the, co the compost will be rich in nitrogen and your cucumber plant will do better off or you can buy some feeding from your local garden center or um, B&Q as well sell some feeding if you've got that in your place. Um, then you need to look for feeding that is high in nitrogen and calcium. That's very important for cucumber plants to produce more and produce better. Timing. When to sow your cucumbers. If you've got a greenhouse, you're growing them in a greenhouse and it's heated then it doesn't matter you can sow in january then you put them in the greenhouse the cucumbers love warm like chris is saying they love their feet to be warm so but if you grow in a cold greenhouse then you should start sowing your seeds in april the middle of april so in two weeks i mean first week in may you can bring them out in your greenhouse because here in england i don't know which area 
you are in but in England sometimes we have frost even in May so your cucumbers will not gonna resist that if they're not protected somehow even fleeced or heated or somehow but if you're planning to grow your cucumbers outside then sow your seeds end of May and um, or middle of May and plant them outside about first week in June like first days of June that will be perfect for them they will have because cucumbers grow very quick they'll have the warmth and they will have the advantage to grow quick because they'll have the right weather to do that so from planting to picking cucumbers it's only a matter of a few weeks so they will be quick compared with the tomatoes that you nearly have five months from sowing to picking let's talk about the problems that the cucumber plants can have so uh, a big problem can be for the cucumber plants is mildew mildew can appear if it's a damp area like a damp enclosed area uh, is not happening as much outside it's more happening when it's inside so if it's in your greenhouse then take a few of the bottom leaves off or if you can't get rid of the mildew then you can spray with bicarbonate of soda which is a very good natural ingredient a one teaspoon for five liter of water and mix that and then you give it a spray on your plants this will help to get rid of the mildew and have a healthier plant so every country is different for the weather most important is to have your plants at the right temperature then they will be producing lovely good fruits or veggies whatever you're growing and to have them uh, not stressed out you will see the signs with the plants when they get stressed out that's lack of water that's mildew that many points can be in here but let's get growing and let's enjoy some nice little cucumbers they're very nice very crunchy and very tasty we've done some picking today so look at these goodies this is gherkin cucumber very very nice you can eat them as just normal cucumber it's really nice for snacking my kids love them and it's uh, really nice in salad in anything as a normal cucumber So I hope you find this video interesting, I hope you'll come back, please leave us a comment. So thank you very much for today, bye for now!